Hey, what's going on? My name is Steve Monenbach, and I own a Facebook marketing agency. We specialize in helping business owners get more customers into their business through mobile advertising with Facebook ads. Today, I decided I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to market for restaurants using a buy one, get one offer for people that have an upcoming birthday this next coming week. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and hop into my computer screen so I can show you the targeting and how I would target the people that we want to bring into the restaurant. And then after that, I'll take you into my mobile phone and show you how the ad will actually appear on somebody's cell phone when they see it in their newsfeed. So here we are on my laptop computer screen. Uh, this is the Facebook ad platform we're looking at now. You have your campaign section up here. Uh, like this is the highest level of the ad then you have your different ad sets and here we can you can mess with the targeting features and then down here you have the actual ads themselves so in this case uh, I chose to make an ad for Ruth Chris uh, in downtown Portland so we're gonna go ahead and hop in here click the edit button that's gonna bring up uh, the targeting part of this ad so in here you can set a daily budget here. I just put $30 a day. You can make it $50 a day, $100 a day, $10 a day, whatever you want to make it over here. You have the potential reach of your audience size based on all the other factors you set. So right now it's at 36,000 people. We go further down here. Uh, I have the address for the Ruth Chris in downtown Portland put right here with a 30 mile uh, radius around it. So that means that people within 30 miles of this particular Ruth Chris restaurant will only see this ad. Nobody outside of that range. I have people that are at least 21 years old or older because we want them to be able to buy alcohol if they visit the restaurant because uh, they'll have a bigger tab that way. Below that, I selected both women and men. And then here's the important part where I selected upcoming birthday. Upcoming birthday means that anybody having a uh, birthday Within one week, you can see over here off to the side, it says they have a birthday within one week. So that's an important thing to do. That way you can make sure you get all those birthday parties coming into your restaurant. And there's a lot of other ways you can target people as well in here. You could do uh, newly engaged, newlyweds, anniversaries. We can go in here, we can target by uh, financials. This is actually a really good way to target people income. So we come in here, you can target people that make 100,000 to 125,000 a year. You know, any, any, any income range is going to be listed in this particular section, even by net worth if you want to. So that's a little bit about the targeting. There's a lot of other options in here. Too many to go over right now. Editing the placements is important. You can choose to uh, only show the ads to mobile or desktop, or you can do both. Uh, iPads would be included in there as well. And then under Facebook, you have several different places you can advertise. You have the news feed, you have instant articles, write column. Uh, you have Instagram in here as well. Instagram is also pretty effective. You have the audience network, and then you have messenger ads where people can actually send you a message through a Facebook ad. Uh, those have been tested out recently. I think they came out in the last few months. Then you under under the optimization and delivery section, you get to choose how your ads will be delivered. Is it you know you're gonna get charged by link click? You're gonna get charged by impression. That's up to you. I always do link clicks. Uh, you can just decide to go with an automatic bid or a manual bid, and I change that up depending on uh, each each case. But that's it for the targeting. So let's go ahead and go into the actual ad itself that I uh, crafted for Ruth Chris in this case. So we'll just go down here and here you have the ad. Uh, it just says attention birthday guys and gals. That's calling attention to the people we're targeting. So it will speak directly to them. Anybody with an upcoming birthday, they're going to be like, Oh wow. Ruth Chris is offering me something special. So they're going to stop and they're going to want to read this ad. So it says we're doing something crazy by giving away five free entrees. The people celebrating their birthdays this week when somebody else in your group buys one entree. So again, it's that buy one, get one special to get people to come in. I mean, if you're getting a free entree at Ruth Chris, I think that's gonna be pretty enticing as long as you bring in somebody else uh, that will actually buy a regular entree. And then, you know, the last line here just says, click download to get your birthday coupon today. The last line of any ad, you want to direct people to do exactly what you want them to do. I want them to click the download button. So that's why I put that sentence in there. Then you have the video, which I can play for you here real quick. Ruth? She had a recipe for everything. Take pictures. In 20 years, you'll be glad you did. 
and make your best memories on a 500 degree sizzling plate. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. This is how it's done. So any any type of ad, I always recommend running a video with it. It seems to grab people's attention more often when they're scrolling through their newsfeed, which means you're going to get more clicks at a cheaper price. So always go with videos. The bottom part here is just has the headline again, reinforcing what the offer is. Free birthday entree with purchase of any entree. So that would be it for the actual ad and the targeting itself. Now I'm going to show you what this would look like on your phone in the actual Facebook news feed and then walk you through the landing page and the thank you page that would come after clicking on the ad. All right, so we made it onto my, my home phone screen. So let's go ahead and cut right into the Facebook app right over here on the left. Just going to go in there. And I just sent a notification uh, to, face, to my Facebook app. There it is. The ad is ready to preview. So we're going to click on that top part right there. And there you go. Here's the ad itself. I just showed it to you in the back end. This is what it will actually look like on Facebook when somebody pulls it up in their news feed. Says the same thing, it just looks a little bit nicer and I always have to test that on the ad platform and then how it will actually show up, the way the lines all line up and everything. But essentially it's the same exact ad, you got the video playing on auto. So let's go ahead and click the download button and skip to the landing page. Click that, it's gonna load right up for us. So on the landing page is where we wanna collect everybody's name, phone number and email address. So here we are on the landing page just a few things to note. I've got the logo at the top. I've got the button spaced about into the middle of the screen and it's a pretty big button with big letters on it. Anything for mobile is going to be a lot simpler in its design as opposed to a desktop computer. And I, I pretty much uh, exclusively advertise the mobile because so many people are on their phones these days. So that's these are really important things to notice. Um, a few lines of text only, you know, I have Two lines there with the offer. Hey, want a free entree for your birthday dinner? Well, if you do, you can click the button. Below that, you have the only three coupons remaining. I want to create that sense of scarcity in their mind. In the ad, it said there were five entrees being given out. Now it says there's only three coupons remaining. So it's going to make people think that they need to take action right now in order to get one of these last few coupons for their birthday dinner. Below that, we have the offer expires in 30 minutes. I've tested this out on several other uh, offers for other businesses, and it always seems to work really well. The combination of the scarcity with the only so many coupons or discounted passes remaining in combination with that timer, the countdown timer, seems to work really effectively. And then I just have that video again from the ad. I put that in there for them to watch if they didn't watch it in the ad. Again, you have another button below that. You want to have the button up here at the top. you got a button in the middle of the page. And then I put some uh, videos of Ruth's Chris Steaks right in here. So any type of video you have other than your main one, you'd want to pop those. Showing the actual food, you'd want to pop those in right below here for people to look at. Get them excited about coming into your restaurant. And then you have the button again here at the bottom with some of the restrictions underneath the button. Let's go ahead and tap the Get Free Coupon button. It's going to bring up the pop-up. just says, where should we send your free coupon? All of these are mandatory, required. So they got to type in their name. They got to type in their email address. And they got to type in their phone number. Then we go ahead and hit send my free coupon. And that's going to bring us up to what's called the thank you page. Uh, this is the thank you page. It says, thanks. Now make your reservation by using the click to call link below before all of our birthday giveaway entries are gone. You know, they saw there was five in the main ad, then three. Now they're being brought here saying, oh my gosh, there's only, a, you know, there's only a few left. So we got, we better make sure we get it now. So you can click this click to call link right here. If you tap on it, so it gives you the option to make a call. So they can call directly to the restaurant from this to make the reservation if they want to. Then at the bottom, I just, again, have some of the restrictions. It's only valid if used within one week of their birthday. And in order to be eligible for the free birthday entree, somebody else in their birthday party needs to buy, uh, actually buy an entree themselves. So that's pretty much how all of this works. You can also at this point add in on the thank you page, you can add in a, uh, a e-gift card where you could ask them to pay, you know, pay uh, $30 or pay $50 now to get you know $70 at the restaurant or pay $35 now for $50 at the restaurant. Something along those lines in order to get them to actually spend some money 
at the end of this advertisement and landing page sequence. But that's about all I've got for Ruth Chris and for restaurants in general for the buy one, get one birthday offer, specifically targeting people with their birthday upcoming this week. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to uh, have me set it up for your restaurant, then go ahead and give me a call. My number is 503-551-8690. And uh, I hope to hear from you soon. All right, thanks.